I'm a firm believer in improving based off of your past failures. That is, that's just how I live. That's how I'm going to continue to live because I just don't see the point of being all discouraged on your past failures and dwelling on the past and feeling bad about yourself when you can just take that experience and learn from it. And what I find very helpful is having constant reminders of that failure so that I'm constantly reminding myself that if I don't put in the work, I'm going to be right back to that same point that I was at that point in time and it's just going to keep repeating back on the cycle. All that being said, I came across this today. And this right here is the number that I had during the ITU Grand Final. And it's actually perfect timing because I'm going through this triathlon tear and swim foundations so that I don't repeat that same thing that I had last year. So I'm going to hang up my number from last year somewhere I see it each and every morning, somewhere I'll see it when I'm passing just throughout the day so that I remind myself to not stop swimming every day and recording it for you fine people to hold me accountable and hopefully you'll be able to learn something as well because like I keep saying, in community there's strength. So with that said, you should probably smash that subscribe button because we're going to be doing this for a long while. My triathlon club actually just put out an email saying that the swim program that they do is starting at the beginning of January. So that's less than a month away. 2020 is less than a month away. This decade flew by. I'm 25 now. My, oh, well, I guess I just shaved, but I'm sure that there's some gray hairs in there. It's just all downhill from here. So anyway, I am procrastinating. I have to go get a barbecue, bring it back, unload it, bring the truck back, and then go for a swim. So we have a very busy day ahead of us. And I'm just procrastinating. I came to see my little girl. My little girl's a dog, just so you know. And she's she's just something. But anyway, I gotta get going. I'll catch up with you guys very shortly. Day two is complete. Well, day two of the Triathlon Terrence Swim Foundations. This is day three of me just getting to the pool every single day. And you know what? Definitely felt a bit more comfortable today. I didn't take as long to get to the bottom of the pool during drill two from yesterday's video. I'll link it here if you want to go check out what I'm doing to get more comfortable breathing, learning how to properly breathe and how to not panic in the water because my mind just goes all over the place in the water. Like for example, there's this thing called delayed drowning where if you get water in your lungs, you can still drown for up to 24 hours or something. It's really common or not really common. It's more common in younger children, I guess. And I just started coughing a few seconds ago and I thought that I was having a delayed drowning incident. Like my mind is just completely messed up when it comes to this stuff. So that's why we're getting out there each and every day trying to get over this dang fear that makes absolutely no sense. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I did in the pool today. It was extremely short because as I mentioned in the intro, I had a lot of stuff to do. I had to go get the barbecue and because I have a Honda Civic, that stuff's not gonna fit in there. So I had to go pick up an SUV from my uncle, drive 25 minutes to the store, drive 20 minutes to my place to drop off the barbecue. And the worst thing about that was they had the main exit that connects the portion of Dartmouth to the portion of uh, the place where I live called Bedford blocked off. So when you get off the bridge, you had to drive to downtown Halifax for people that know the area and then drive back up to Bedford Highway. It's an absolute mess. I don't understand the mentality of these construction workers. Sorry, not the construction workers. They actually, they're awesome. The people that plan out these construction projects. Why do it two weekends before Christmas? It makes no sense. The busiest time of year, you gotta start thinking. Like, I'll, if you wanna hire me, I'll do some consulting. I'll give you a really good rate. Like, 10,000 bucks a month and I'll be your consultant. It's a pretty sick deal. I'm... <sighs> okay, I digress. That has nothing to do with swimming. So. When I got to the pool, I had roughly half an hour before it was a ladies only swim. So on Sunday nights, the Candy Game Center does a women's only swim from seven to eight. They close the pool at 6.50 to let everyone get out and get it all transitioned to women only swims. So I got there at 6.20 because of all that running around. So I only had half an hour. So I tried to make the best of my time in that half an hour and worked on the stuff that I failed at yesterday. So I didn't bother with drill number one. I did a lot of drill number two because that's the one that actually teaches you not to panic in the water. It, it helps you remain calm. It really builds that 
with you with the water. You're one with the water when it comes to this drill because you need to trust that you're gonna be able to get back up to the surface in time before you drown. And you know what? It didn't take me as many tries to get to the bottom today. I was able to get to the bottom, sit there for a second, still breathing out, no water getting in my nose whatsoever, and then pushing back off, and I felt pretty dang good. So Taryn, if you're watching this, fantastic, with, fantastic job with that drill. That is, the creme de la freaking creme. So then I did do a little bit of drill number three, which was where you kick and breathe down and blow bubbles. I did a little bit of that, but again, I was feeling pretty comfortable with the reflex of blowing bubbles out whenever I go in the water. That was actually something I've been pretty good with for a while now, because I did watch it in Taryn's video actually a while back, that you should be blowing bubbles out every time your face goes in the water, and it really does help. So I did a little bit of drill number three again, very little though. And then I did do a little bit of drill number four, which is again just that, but the next iteration where you're kicking and you're turning to breathe rather than completely stopping to breathe. That all felt great. I'm feeling, even though it's only been three days, I'm feeling much more comfortable in the water than I did even on Friday. It's, yeah, so I'm just gonna continue on with this because I, oh, I'm getting excited. Okay, so then I did drill number five, which was the corkscrew drills, which again was just another iteration of you getting comfortable to blowing bubbles out in the water while moving. And like I said, I've been doing that for a while, so I'm pretty confident with my ability to do that. It is now just an instant reflux for me to blow bubbles out. As soon as my, my head goes in the water, I go <laughs> and I don't get any water in my nose whatsoever. It's fantastic. And then I ended it off with a little bit of a 100 meter freestyle just to reinforce these habits that I've been trying to teach myself over the last little bit. Felt pretty good. But I was thinking today that in order to measure my progress, I don't have any baseline right now. So I should probably do a little bit of a, um, what's it called, a time trial. So I think what I'm gonna to do tomorrow is on top of these breathing and uh, getting more comfortable in the water drills, I'm gonna do a 400 meter time trial to see how fast I am right now and then repeat that every cycle. So I'll do a cycle every month or something and see how much my 400 meter times are progressing based off of just the Triathlon Terran Swim Foundation program. Not too bad, right? Like 400 meters doesn't seem like a lot. It should probably, my, okay, here's my theory. So my 400 meter time in the summer was around eight minutes, maybe 7.50. So just around that two minute per 100 meter mark. My guess is right now, because my body's extremely tight, not as flexible as it was, I don't have those good habits of being able to breathe properly and all that stuff built into me just yet, they'll come back and I will be better on top of that. This is, it's fantastic. So I think my 400 meter time is gonna be around 10 minutes going full out. I think that's a little conservative, but I'd rather not say seven minutes and then be at 12 minutes. So I think 10 minutes is a good, it's a good mark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for 10 minutes. So tomorrow's gonna be the 400 meter time trial. Stay tuned for that if you wanna see it. Make sure to subscribe because it's gonna be every single day, bro. Every, it's every day, bro, that we're doing these videos. It's every day. And you guys are coming along with me on this journey and you're gonna learn just as much as I do and we're all gonna become more confident fishes. That's right, we're not humans at that point. We're gonna be damn fishes. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm because Google is out there to help us but also destroy us if we don't get enough likes. So for the overlord, just please them. Please them and please me. Thank you so much. All right, enough of this. Have a fantastic evening. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Remember, stay psycho.